plot three triangles and hence nine internal angles. And we're told these angles form a sequence where the difference between any adjacent pair of numbers in the sequence is a constant d. That's another way of saying it's a linear sequence, such as like 7, 12, 17, 22. This is a sequence that goes up in, in fives. Okay, so I'm going to say that the middle angle is x, and then the one after it is going to be x plus d, and the one before it is going to be x minus d. This is a really good way when you have an odd number of numbers, and they are consecutive because we've just got yeah, x plus 2d, and then x minus 2d, and so on. And it's got good advantages because we're going to sum the angles in a minute. Okay, the last one. And I've run out of space. We're going to get x minus 4d and x plus 4d. So this sum is actually simply going to be 9x because the minus 4 cancels with the 4 and so on. And remember, that is going to equal 3 times 180 because we've got these three triangles. Finding out quite a lot about this sequence already. And that means that this middle angle is going to be 3 times 180 over 9, or I can just divide the 180 by 9 is 3 times 20 or 60. So I think I will rewrite it. It's going to be 6d minus 4d, 6d minus 3d, and so on. Okay, good. Right, next up we've got one of the, well, essential pieces of information. One of the angles measures 42 degrees. Find all possible values of the size of the largest of the nine angles. So because we know that 60 is the middle angle, we've got these four cases that could equal 42. And therefore, let's just have a look one at a time. So case one. 6d minus 4d is equal to 42. We can rearrange that so 4d is equal to 18 and therefore d is equal to 4.5. Nothing, nothing saying it has to be every angle has to be a whole number so that is actually absolutely fine. We do however need to just check that the triangles are possible to create. Actually we can always go with 6 minus 4d so 60 minus 4d, 60 plus 4d, and 60 to create one triangle, provided the thing we're going to have to check in a minute is that we don't get any negative angles. But that will give 180. And then 60 minus 3d can go with 60 plus d and 60 plus 2d. So that will work if they're all positive. And that will leave us with 60 minus 2d. 60 minus d and 60 plus 3d. So what happens when we put d equals 4.5 in? Then d minus 4d is going to be the 42 that we constructed, so that's okay. And 60 plus 4d is going to be 60 plus 18, so 78. So this is all good and it's, yeah, it's going to be a possible answer. So the largest of the nine angles in this case is 78. Okay, let's move on to case two. So now 60 minus 3d is going to be 42. That means 3d is equal to 18 and d is equal to 6. 60 minus 4d will then be 60 minus 24, so 36. 60 plus 4d is 60 plus 24, so 84. And this again, we can construct it. 
you know, and I, I, I'll be able to, I don't feel like I need to actually write down the numbers because I've kind of proven that I can always construct three pairs that add to 180. At the end, I'll just explain, I'll just show, show some demonstrations as well. C3, case 3, 60 minus 2D is 42, 2D is 18, D is 9. 60 minus 4D is 60 minus 36, so 24. So K, 60 plus 4D is 60 plus 36, 90, uh, 96. That is a, yeah, that one is okay as well. This leaves us with case four. 60 minus D, the one before the middle one is 42, which means D is 18. Now 60 minus 4D is actually gonna be uh, 60 minus 72, giving me minus 12. So actually immediately this is not possible it whilst it might satisfy the condition, it doesn't satisfy it also being a triangle. So we can reject that one. And sorry, 30, yeah, that is correct. So I keep doubting myself. So actually find all possible values of the sides, the largest of the nine angles. It's gonna be these three here, 78, 84, 96. Another really good question. All right, let me just write down some possible pairs. I'm actually going to take these from the answers now. So I proved that in the general case, provided that the angles are positive, that we can always pair them up to get 180. The answers decided to actually write down all of the angles. We don't need to do that, actually. I think you can save a bit of time. But with 4.5, we, we get these, and then they wrote down possible triangles. For case two, we get D is six. Again, we found these. And then case three with D equals nine, we found these. I just wanted to share them as, uh, you know, those are, those are some possible constructions with the largest angles also shown. All right, well done.